take you to the symphony for our anniversary next week. Next week? That's right, so soon. 20 years. So the symphony's okay? Oh, uh, that'd be nice. Sure. kind of like roll out the barrel to me. It's tuba part of Clad Loom, the most beautiful piece of music ever written. Well, then you, uh, you just need the rest of the band then, huh? Yes, but we're not alone much longer. You know what this is? It's a phone number. It's a dream come true. The chair of the symphony wants to see me today. <laughs> That's awesome. <laughs> the symphonies are under a great deal of pressure right now. Mm -hmm. It's tough on everyone, including a certain, shall we say, unstable member of the orchestra. An unstable member of the orchestra? A highly strong tuba principal. She's right for early retirement. Mm. And now, out of the blue, I get a call from the chair. Why? Because the chair wants to offer you a seat. Hold on. Got something in here. I've been saving it for something special. <laughs> yeah. I can tell you're surprised. I don't understand. We were really impressed with the work you did on the fundraising committee, Bo. Development officer? It's an absolutely vital position. And we think you're the person to fill it. This isn't about the principal tuba? <laughs> You're a fine musician, Bo, but it's pretty clear that a place in the orchestra won't be opening anytime soon. I see. Well, why don't you think about it? We'd love to have you with us at the symphony full time. The faucet in the kitchen is still leaking. And if we use the toaster and the coffee maker at the same time, we blow a fuse. Do you think you could find a few moments in your very busy day to fix them? Yeah. I'll, I'll do my best to fit you in. Bazooms, is that what you like, Yuri? Or is it nookie? Well, I... Or would you rather mix it up? 
Do you like spending a lot of time with the same woman, or would you rather different kinds? Okay, whoa, listen, you know, I was just reading a magazine. What's the longest you've ever spent with one woman? Well... Forget 20 years, more like 20 minutes, right? But you can imagine, can't you? You'd get bored, wouldn't you? You know what? I can't do this. You would definitely mix it up. <sighs> yeah. I'd mix it up. Can I go? Five bucks for the magazine. Thank you. If your love life was a car, would it be A, a Ferrari, thrilling and exciting? B, a Volvo, solid and dependable? C, a Pacer. Fun in the past, but totally outdated. Donna, it's a thing of beauty. We're tight and low, fine game. <laughs> hey, Dad, check it out. The Super Ace 5000. It's the Cadillac of karaoke. That's nice, son. I mean, it's got a five and a half inch TV that displays lyrics on the screen, and each mic has its own volume control. Dad. Maybe we'll go and reach and get down tonight. <laughs> What are you looking at? My wife. At least you're dressed. Hey. How are you? I'm busy. Would you mind grabbing Ricky? I need to get a few things from the supply room. I'll stay here. Really? Yeah. Okay, that's great. Thanks. Tony? Yeah? You never guessed where I was today. I'm sorry, Bo. I really should. I, could... I won't be a minute, okay? No, no. I'll tell you later. Is everything all right? Yes. Good. A pacer? I know it is my desire that is causing all this suffering. I've held on to these dreams for so long. And my wife, my wife is unhappy with me. Three, five, four, five. I smell the blood of cockroach scum. Buddha, if you think that I should take this job, please give me a sign. I wasn't expecting you to come around so soon after our meeting yesterday. I was just so surprised. But after thinking it over... Well, we're just so thrilled to have you with us, Bo. And here's your ID badge. Thank you. And I will check in with you in a bit.
bowl. Now? One, two, three. Go easy, big fella. You're gonna make us all look bad. <laughs> I'm kidding, really. So good to have you on board, really. I mean, the last duo. Oh, Jesus. You know what I mean. I'm Carol, by the way. Bo, you're with the marketing department, right? With? <laughs> Darling, I am the marketing department. Seriously, though, if you have uh, any questions or you need any help, just let me know. One door down, I'm laughing and singing and having a party. <laughs> Thanks. And you know, I think the fact that you used to be a musician is only going to help, both inside and out. Because let's face it, we're working our asses off, pardon my French, for those artistes down in the pit. And we get like zero respect and negative like eight appreciation. So now that one of them is one of us, maybe we can work something out. I hope so. <sighs> Okie dokie, I won't keep you. Let's face it, you're kind of getting the money that pays my salary and the salary of everybody else around here. <laughs> okay, toodle. Mama, name of Kindle Habo? Mama. Hey, Tuba, is that you? Christmas concert two years ago. The Nutcracker? It sure was. Oh, yeah. Actually, I started a symphony today. So that hypochondriac finally got sick for real, did she? No, I'm not in the orchestra. I'm working in the back. I'm the new development officer. Wow, another one bites the dust. I hope not. No, I mean, the world needs development officers, no doubt. You know, if there were more people like you, maybe we wouldn't have to spend so much time here, right? No, it's just that I... I, I could do it. We'll see, I guess. Take care. Well, now that you're on the other side, you know, maybe you can pull some strings? You know where to find me? Yes. We'll see you. See ya. <laughs> Mother says, uh, congratulations, you're eating for two now. I'm not pregnant. Couldn't we be? You are a 
what is she saying? Uh, she says she must be mistaken. You just seem radiant and glowing. Hmm. <laughs> <laughs> You're in for it. What? Why? You've been gone all day. Like, Mom's just been freaking. You have shit creeps, sonny boy? Tony, I'm home. I'm sorry if you were worried. Ruby, go help your brother with the store. But Grandma's already there. Go. Quickly. Where have you been? I was at the symphony all day. Really? Did you have a nice time? No, I... What is this? It's a phone number. Who is she? Are you accusing me of having an affair? What am I supposed to think, huh? You're gone all day. You're barely talking to me. You're not yourself. It's just, no. If either of us is going to have an affair, it wouldn't be me. What's that supposed to mean? I saw the magazine in your store. A pacer? Oh, Jesus, Bo, you weren't supposed... That survey didn't mean anything. Oh, my God. What kind of a life have I given you? You're working all the time to support us. While I spend my days in the basement practicing for this life that would never happen. This is our life. It is happening now. Maybe it's not the life either of us wanted. That phone number. It's the chair of the symphony. She's asked me to be their development officer. Oh. I thought you were... Oh, I'm so sorry. I can't... I can't believe I thought that you were... I accept it. I'm tired of relying on other people to fulfill my dreams. Then don't rely on other people. Find other ways to do what you love. Like what? It's not so bad. The job means I can help you out more. Bo. You silly. I fell in love with you because of your music, not in spite of it. I just want us to be happy. Are you guys done fighting? Because I'm starving. Me too. Well, we certainly appreciate the support your family has given us in the past. I just don't know if we can meet that level of support again this year, Bo. Things are a bit tight. Yes. It does seem a little harder every year to keep everything alive. You know, we're great patrons, and we fully appreciate everything the symphony contributes to our lives. But with the downturn in the Malaysian economy, we found ourselves rather... Hun, what was that? Oh, I don't know. The music happened. Bo? Hmm? Bo? Bo? Mom, Mom! What? What? Get outside, quick! Why? Why? I'm okay. I'm okay.
Happy anniversary, Tony. Get ready, fellas. She's coming. Thank you.